Google has become known for pursuing grand scale projects that sometimes seem far fetched. Like we pointed out recently with Project Loon, now in test mode in parts of New Zealand and California, which is an initiative to blanket the Earth with smart balloons that provide Wi Fi to every corner of the planet. Well, according to a new report from Spiegel International, the next problem that Google hopes to completely overcome is one of the most fundamental to humanity as a whole the language barrier. What if the whole world could understand each other? Well, as you know, Google already has a tool for this, Translate, where you can paste pieces of text and have them translated into one of 71 different languages, regardless of alphabet, though 18 of those are in less reliable alpha mode. There are also iOS and Android mobile apps for Google Translate, and of course, if you use Chrome, any page where the text is in a language other than the one you use primarily, it can translate all that text automatically. Though obviously the translation can be far from perfect, things like idiomatic speech can be hard to program for. You can see how this works yourself by translating something into another language and then taking that text and translating it back, so on and so forth. Despite those issues though, at least one unexpected use for translation Translate has made itself known most recently through a Reddit thread. The thread explains how you can use Translate to read blocked websites that may be restricted by your school, employer, or in the region that you live. To use Translate as a proxy, type in the blocked URL in the Translate box, use your language of choice as the Translate to option, and then hit Translate. That will open up the website beneath the Translate window. It's not a VPN, but it can override local blocks. It also doesn't work with sites that use HTTPS, for example, and for more detail on how that works, we'll leave the whole thread in the show notes for you. Do you think Google will be successful in breaking down the language barrier completely? Let us know what you think in the comments, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. And on today's Tech Assassin Reloaded, check out Richard Ryan behind the scenes with Jesse Well from Prank vs. Prank. Just click the link to the left. For TFN, this is Annie.